Hi, my name's Mike, and today I've got uh, the latest message from God given to Brother Byron Searle. Just wanted to add that um, Mike Pompey has been sent to Israel to meet Benjamin Netanyahu about uh, the peace deal, and I'll leave uh, an article about that. Um, so that's quite a big thing uh, he's going over to discuss about the peace deal there in the, in, the, um, in Israel. Now, uh, the latest message from God given to Brother Byron Cell is called Hungary, and it was given on May 12, 2020. <clears throat> Prophecy given is Matthew 5, 6 and 10 to 12. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled Blessed are they which are per per persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you for, for, for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And this is the <coughs> words as a very powerful word here um, and, and it got a note here the remnant and bride is not mentioned in this word and this is the word my son why are my children in america not hungry for me look at africa look at south america look at china the middle east and even russia they hunger for me they thirst for the living water that i give to drink what is the difference the difference is persecution. <clears throat> when my children <clears throat> come under persecution, they draw close to me. They want me to be in their midst. They worship me with a pure heart. My son, my children in America do not hunger for me. They are self-centered and only care for what I can do to make their life easier. They give money not out of love, but to get me to give them more. The food that is thrown in the trash would feed many countries in the world. Persecution is why the body in every other nation is thriving. My son, persecution is coming to America. It is in its infancy stage, but very soon it will be made manifest. Many in my body believe they have been persecuted and it's time to come home. I say the testing is just beginning. Many who believe they walk in faith and can stand against anything will fall quickly. Only those who have given me their all and have forsaken this world will stand. <clears throat> Do you not know my word? I said many will stand before me in that day and say, Lord, Lord, did we not cast out devils or did we not heal the sick in your name? I will say, Depart from me, I never knew you. My son, persecution is coming to America, a nation that is fat and lazy and in need of nothing. You say that is a hard word, but I say I have seen my children fed to the lions. I have seen them skewered and burned alive. I have seen them beheaded, shot, beaten and starved to death. I have wept untold number of tears for those who would not deny me. In America I am denied every day by those who say I am their Lord. Repent, America, turn from your evil ways, and I will have mercy on you. Repent for the sins you, you walk in every day, pride, arrogance, laziness, and gluttony. I will take away all your food. Will you cry out to me then? Um, I will take away all your money. Will you cry out for me then? I will take away my protection. Will you cry out to me then? I have done it before. Read my word and prove me wrong. My son, a great shaking is coming, followed by great persecution. My children, are you ready? I say no. Many of you will perish and come home. My body will grow stronger with those who are left, just as they have all around the world. They were hungry. My son, I love my children, but with many, they only love me with idle words. I say again, repent, repent, come to me in humility and come to me hungry. I will pour out upon you more bread and living water 
than you can imagine. The end is here. Time is sped up. And the final acts are now in play. Repent, repent. Come to me now. Amen, Lord Jesus. And that's the end of that powerful message. Anyone out there that still hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please don't wait as time is running out. God bless you all. Bye-bye.